All right, so what I've done is I've gone in and I've started to pull out some of these edges to give me more of a three-dimensional quality to the head. So maybe this one, I'll pull this one out a little bit more like so. So if I was to hit three on the keyboard, you can see not too bad, but a little flat on the top of the head. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my uh, uh, object mode, and I'm going to hit one more edge, and it's going to go along the head across the top of the shoulder and down along the side of the body. And it's going to allow me to round out the head at the top and also along the edge of the body here. It's going to allow me to round out the the roundness of the leg and get that blockiness kind of under control a bit. So I'll grab my edge loop tool and I'll click up so like so and I'll just run that edge all the way around my model. And now what I can do is I can go in and work on these pieces individually. So I'm going to go in, I'll start with the head, I'll grab edge, I'll click on this, I'll pull that up a bit, hit three on the keyboard. Uh, I'm not going to work with three on the keyboard because it doesn't give you an accurate idea of where your Bezier points are, but um, you can go back and forth as you're in your modeling process. So now I'm going to go down to the leg. And I'm going to use that edge to, as an opportunity to round out the uh, circumference of the leg. So I'll select this edge and then I'll spin around the other side and I'll shift double click like so and if I get my scale tool I can pull that out and you can see now that I'm starting to round that leg edge. Now it might not be exactly what I want up here where it meets the torso but uh, you can see it really kind of gives you a nice working point here. So I'm going to hit three on the keyboard to see what that looks like and that looks pretty good. I'm going to go back to my object mode, hit one on the keyboard, and I'm going to save. All right, so I've done a little bit more refinement. You can see I start to move the torso around, so it looks like perhaps he's bent at the waist a bit uh, forward, the way the posture might be if, uh, if someone were in a, in a rowboat. Um, and you can go in and you can refine this as much as you need. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, I'm going to reflect over the other half of the body, and then we'll just manipulate the arm a little bit, uh, so we'll, uh, it would be more in the position where the uh, the left arm would be holding the paddle. So I'm going to go to my object mode. I'll select it, and I want to make sure that my pivot is flush against the opening, like so. All right, now I've got an issue down here with my leg when I reflect it over because of the thickness it's going to kind of overlap here. So I'm just going to go down here and I'll just tweak this a bit. I'll pull these in. And if I was to hold X on the keyboard, I can kind of snap that over. I'll do something like that. And then once I kind of get what I want, I'll reflect it over because I can always merge these together and clean them up when I uh, reflect the second half. So maybe I'll pull this leg over just a bit like that. There we go. 